I put 10,000 bands <laughs> oh. on fucking Trump, my brother. But today's the last day, my brother. So remember. Did you vote? Did you vote yet? I cannot fucking vote, my brother. I'm a legal immigrant, my brother, <laughs> from Honduras. <laughs> you came Are you from, fucking kidding you came me? From I'm living on Where? welfare, brother. They pay me 2.5k a month, brother. You. Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast. I'm your Who host. Who the fuck is that guy, brother? Who the fuck is that guy, brother? Where's Matty Betts, don't, brother? Don't talk like him. Talk different. Let's go. Yeah, Let's different. go. Welcome talk back, different. guys. No. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> no, but uh, unfortunately, Matty Betts is not here today. Why? Um, why? Kind of he uh, he missed why. out on a $500,000 bet. He checked himself into a psychiatric ward. Uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Where's Matty Betts, brother? Where's Matty Betts? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. What the can. fuck is this man? But remember, today's election day, so maybe he's doing something <laughs> to get Trump on the on the fucking White House. I don't fucking know. He definitely uh, just put uh, 400 grand on uh, Donald Trump. Today. He, definitely he, he basically endorsed him. He endorsed him, basically. <laughs> he just put 400 grand on him. 400? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's jump into uh, this weekend or last weekend's UFC... First of all, <laughs> the level of disrespect of Maddie Betts not being here the because level, the last episode, I think we got solid views. Was a nice episode. He was talking shit about Moicano when <laughs> when fucking Bisping was here, and now he doesn't show up. What you think no. about that? And then he sent a text, "Hey guys, let's be all together on the, you know, we gotta be in the studio and this and that." And then this guy like, I just saw a text, "Hey." 10 I'm minutes ago. I'm to come today. And then I'm like, man, remember what you said last week? You, you, you <laughs> laugh on that. I say, hey, bro, come on. We need to be on the studio. <laughs> Feel better. But like, don't come with the excuse. Because you know why? You know what happened? These guys in the casino, the freaking yeah. whole night. And then yeah. in the morning, oh, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, yeah. bro. Get out of the casino, bro. Yeah. I, I told you that gambling is not, it's not healthy, bro. Eating fucking Doritos and drinking <laughs> monsters all, all night. What you think about your life, man, brother? Let's go. <laughs> Level of disrespect. So where we go to? We go to next weekend. I, I to be honest, I was so mad. I, I should go to the event. I was one of Carlos Prades. No, no, to the to the last weekend in Canada. Event. But I had a surgery. I had the ah, oh, you the, didn't went over the, there. No, no, no. I had the the surgery. The oh, hernia. Yeah. How how, how was Yo, that? That thing was killing me. I, they make three holes here on the belly to 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 come the microscope to the surgery. That thing was so painful, bro. Yeah. I was dying. Then I was taking the medication. The medication was making me nauseous. Which which bro. medication you took for for, for that? It was Oxycodone or something like something that? Something like that, bro. So that's good, bad. right? That's some good so that's some good bad. shit. That's some good no, shit. No, no, but it was so bad because I was I was burping so bad. Brad, Brad, I think I, I think was, that motherfucker is a junkie. He, he, he takes it on a regular basis, yeah, bro. Bro, that thing is bad. And then I couldn't go to the fight, but then I saw I watched but the what fight. you mean bad? What you mean bad? You feel bad? Me? Really bad? Yeah. No, I was bad. The medication? I was, I was in a lot of pain. And every time that I, okay, I got to take the medication. It hurts so much. When I take the medication, I was nauseous. I want really? to throw up. I was just like, couldn't watch the phone. But that pain stopped. It stops. And then in four or five hours, it comes back. So I got to take the medicine again. Every time I take the medicine, take like 20, 30 minutes, the pains go away. But I was so nauseous mm. that I like I don't want to take it, and then you have to mix it up with a little bit of whiskey, my brother. That makes <laughs> look at this guy like that, that makes that. better. Guy so happy, right you know. But then medication, a little bit of whiskey, <laughs> you're done, yeah. my brother. You set for life. But then I watched the fights, and bro, a couple of fights were just like wow, and and you know what got me a little like, and I have no hair. I love Brandon Moreno. I think he did great. But people were like, man, that was the best performance of mm. his life. I look like, bro, he fought good. Don't get me wrong. Right. He he that was a solid win. But was not like No. No. He's fucking 125. First of all, <laughs> that should not be a main event. Let's be honest. 125, they they should be only allowed to be main event in title fights. Yes. That, that, that's that's one thing. 
Pantoja. Maybe not even Pantoja, brother. Maybe not even oh, Pantoja. Man. One fucking five. The level, the level of and, disrespect. And another thing is, man, that card on Canada, that fucking sucks. Because that make, that make fucking... Uh, Apex looking good, my brother. That, <laughs> that, that, yeah. how, how bad yeah. it was, my brother. Hey, I didn't and, like the card. And what was the worst fight in your opinion? Uh, unfortunately, the heavyweight fight. The home and love, right? And, and yeah. they fired this guy today. I just saw yeah. on your Brazilian channel. Yeah, they fired the, the guy. guy. Won, the and, guy won. And his, and his record was kind of like Mokaev. It was positive. It was 73. Yeah. That was a good head. That's a good, good record. Like and 73. They say, and they say bye. Mm -hmm. They yeah. didn't renew with the guy. What about so, yeah. what about your tweet? Yeah, brother. <laughs> I was no because I was watching the fights. And I was watching the fight, the heavyweight fight. I started to watch the fight, and I realized that because I don't know if you remember, but on the same card there was a guy Brazilian that he used to be a heavyweight, really fat. Oh yeah, he looked good. really fat. He fought bad, but he looked very good. <laughs> but. Let's be honest. He diet a little bit. He he did some cardio, <laughs> no, and looked, now he's he looked, 205. He looks great. He look he looks very good. What's the yeah. guy? Machado, right? Yeah, Mach Caio Machado. Yeah. And then I realized that most of the heavyweights they could be 205, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Because I agree. because like Romanov, and I don't know if you know, but today I, I saw some interview after the fight. And he was completely delusion. This guy saying that people was were questioning about his cardio, but his cardio was great. Man, that yeah. was terrible. <laughs> that was, that was a very bad fight. That was not a good fight at all. No, no, and then no. he said, "Yeah, people saw that I can strike, brother. You can't strike, brother." <laughs> and, and, and that was a, a tough fight. And I I, I was talking to to. Uh, Rodrigo Nascimento, after the fight, he trained with us in America. He said, hey, brother, you need to do uh, some extra training. You need to diet. You need, right. you know? Yeah. Because that is no now. excuse for that. No. You're a professional fighter. You're a professional athlete. And I think a lot of people are in the same page, right? They, yeah, for man, sure. Man, heavyweight sucks, brother. A couple of guys are very... It, it, it's very hard to say the whole division because you have, like, Renan Problema is a guy that he was fit. Uh, Bouchesher... Couple guys that they do a good job, you know. That's like, why I say like 70, 80 <clears throat> percent of the. Yeah. But but you know the problem and uh, the problem is I was thinking the same thing. Why they would uh, like cut the extra weight like Canonier, right? He yeah. used to be a heavyweight, a fat heavyweight, and now he is very fit on middleweight. It's crazy. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah. So why they would do that if heavyweight is easier? You know what I mean? I think heavyweight is easier than 205. How crazy is that? Like, I think those those divisions, like the, the 125, the flyweight, is a lot of good guys, but sometimes it's, it's hard. Those guys don't have a, a punching power, and the heavyweight, too, is like, you win two fights, you rank it. Like, you saw the guy right now that he's supposed to fight, jo uh, he's supposed to fight Derek Lewis, Jonathan Denise. He was supposed to... He had one or two fights in the UFC. Two, two, two fight, fights, yeah. Two wins in the UFC. One contender, two UFCs. One, so two UFC fights, he was fighting Derrick Lewis. Derrick Lewis uh, had a flu, like he pulled out. He had a, yeah. the chicken Too flu. much chicken feel like, my brother. <laughs> Too flu, much Popeyes. He pulled out, <laughs> and then, but then they give, him, they give him a new fight. He's fighting Marcin Tibura in New York. What do you think about this fight? I think it's a tough fight for Jonathan Denise because Tibura... He's not gonna strike with him. He knows the guys that keep boxing. He's just gonna take this guy down. Do you think he's going to to take him down? One hundred percent. He's gonna take one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. Marcy so Tibur, I'm losing all the bet. Marcy <laughs> Tibur is so smart. No, and and I want <clears throat> Jonathan Denise to win. I think he's gonna be the poor turn effect. He boom, he knocked one guy out again. Yeah. They're giving him the top five soon, you know. But but Tybur is grappling heavy. But Tybur is gonna. Yeah. Tybur is gonna Habib him, you know, gonna take <laughs> the guys down and not Habib. He's gonna Mario Bautista him. He's gonna take him <laughs> down, put it against the cage, take him down, put it against the cage, and uh, unfortunately, but. Uh, he, yeah, he's. So let me ask you guys a question then. Considering that you say heavyweight and flyweights sometimes can be <laughs> somewhat boring. Yeah, yeah. Bias aside, you being lightweight, you being welterweight. I, I like the flyweight a lot, to be honest. I like a lot of fighters, but sometimes it's. Which one? I, the the flyweight. I Pantoja. I like Pantoja. Every single fighter Pantoja is. Because he's one. your friend? Chew. Yeah, I'm biased. <clears throat> but every. 
every single fight of Pantoja yeah. is a war. I mean, like he, him versus Moreno. He don't care. He yeah. don't care. He sometimes he versus Moreno for the fifty time. No, I'm saying I'm saying that fight was. Insane. But sometimes it's even hard for me as a friend to watch his fight because I get very nervous. That guy, he don't care. He go forward crazy punchy. If you're not a Pantoja fan, like it's yeah. crazy because yeah. he go he goes for a war every single fight, and I think that fight with Asakura is gonna be another war. Another two flyers that I like very much is, is Tatsuro Tyra. I think mm. that guy has real chance to become a champion. I like Brandon Hoival too because he's another one that goes crazy, that don't care, has a crazy cardio. Uh, <clears throat> the the guy that just lost to Mokaev, uh, Manel Cap is another guy that I like very much. But those guys don't have a lot. Like It's very hard to mm. finish a fight. It's very... You know, people don't want to see those small guys fighting. And the heavyweights, a lot of guys, like Moikano was saying, sometimes they don't look fit. They don't look ready. Yeah, but look at the card. Yeah. I'm, we we seen the stats f from the card. Brad, go only back to the card. one knockout, my brother. Ten decisions and only two submissions. submissions. That was one of the... the I'm, at the end of the day, I was happy that I didn't make over there, you know, because yeah. I was, I was yeah. like, after the surgery, but then when I watch, I'm like, wow, okay. Well, yeah, that, but let's talk about that fight. Marky, André Barrio, and Dustin wow. Stoltz. Because Ma you were very, we were sure that Mark yeah. André would win. So what happened? That's actually the one set, the one fight that I did watch, and he just got clipped with that he got uppercut. Clipped. He, he the guy threw a calf kick and then he kind of got it taken down. The guy got on top, holding him very strong, very good position. Make him waste a lot of energy to get up. When he got up, they started in a brawl. Like they start like <laughs> just engaging Max Holloway <laughs> in the first round. Like <laughs> after two minutes, they were going after crazy. And the guy clipped him first. You know? It kind of so, reminded me of uh, Pedro Munoz versus Cody Garbrandt when they yeah. were just. Sw yeah, swinging yeah, kind of like that, but that was on the first round, like that yeah. was too quick to do that. So he ended up getting speaking of Pedro out. Munoz, our guy. What did, what did you guys think about his fight? I think he, he did the way he does, you know, he always fight like that. He don't, he acts, he actually mix it up a little bit. And I think the first round he did very good, a lot of jabs, he was doing very good. I think he won't close because at the end, the guy threw that right hand with the kick that kind of landed was good uh but i still think pedro won that first round but then the guy didn't a great adjust on the second round the guy came back didn't eat more jabs from pedro and start hitting pedro the jabs and then the guy kind of took over won the second and third round it was a war pedro is a is a war you know every time he shows up yeah. but this guy i think he had a better boxing defense he was hitting him hard and uh yeah uh, and another thing that is tough because on this division especially uh, when you start to getting like older older like 38 it's 39 good. i think is is it's, it's super, hard because it's super hard. these guys they, they are so fast because they are they are 35ers yeah. and then like even one second gonna cost you you know A so the, the reaction the time of the reaction because on the first round he was doing good with the jabs Very good. Very and then good. and then the and fight adjust, went down, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these guys are so young too. And like you said, <clears throat> being young and then also being fast, yeah. it's just it definitely catches up to you. What do you got what do you think is next for him? Like as far as his career? Pedro? Yeah, I hope he gets it. Let's see, let's see his record. They Brady like, Bats. <laughs> I think Brady it's Bats. I think it's twenty and ten now. And the thing is too is that the lineup of people he's Topology, been fighting. Please. Yeah, look up Tapology, Brad. Um, and then also the, just just the lineup of people he's been fighting has been insane. Yeah, for his the division. competition is. And I even saw a video of him talking about that. He's saying, "I'm not I'm not choosing fights. I never choose opponent. Uh, some 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 guys in UFC they have the power to to choose the fights, but I never had that. That that could be something too. So yeah. twenty and it, ten. It, it depends on his last couple of fights about his contract right now to see. But yeah, see let's, last, let's see that. Look, wow. One so so Jose Aldo lost Dominic Luke Cruz, Sean, Sean O'Malley. Then he bought Chris beat Chris Gutierrez. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like <clears throat> two, three, four, five, oh, six, Vera seven on the the last seven fights. He's won one or two, <laughs> five losses, yeah, one no two, contest. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he he's tough, you know. But if you look, he fought Aldo 
former champ, Dominic Cruz, former champ. Sean O'Malley. Uh, Sean O'Malley, former champ. Then he beat Cruz Chito. Gutierrez. Then he fought Tito there, just fought for the title. Then he fought Kyle Phillips there. The guy was, man, on the guy was on a tear when he when he bought when he beat Pedro. <coughs> and that was a hobby. But I think I don't know, bro. It's tough because that division is a lot of new guys coming. This week we have Jonathan Martinez fighting. I think I mean next week you got a lot of a lot of good guys. I, I you know, know, I know we, we're not supposed to talk about the this card yet, but I want to talk about this fight. Uh Mikey uh, and, and the other guy. Have you seen the this other guy fighting? Yeah, this Mikey. I nice. thought he was a wrestler, I don't know, but nice I I come to see his fight and he's like very good strike, soft true, power, orthodox. True, yeah. Do you think weird. he's beating? That's Martinez, a tough fight. he can. I think that's gonna be closer than because he's think. a he's a huge underdog. It's very hard. He's a huge underdog. It's very hard. I, I think, think he's one of the he best can, underdogs in the card. But I think the the level of experience that Martinez got going to Brazil to fight Aldo, I think he's gonna he's gonna he, he's gonna grow so much after that. You know. What did you guys think of the uh, the co made event, Blanchfield versus Nami Yunus? I, I, I was expecting that. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. What? What? Well, yeah, a winning of Blanchfield, right? Yeah. I think Blanchfield, she's very tough. She only lost to Fioro, right? She, uh, the, the, the French girl. Fioro. And that girl, she's a killer, brother. That girl. <laughs> and she beat everybody in the division. And I remember Jose Namajunas having trouble with even Batistaca. So I thought, okay, Blanchfield, you're going to. Gonna get the W. I thought she could finish something that's very rare, right? Uh, but and Matty messed up on the parlay, right? Saw his parlay. Yeah, I he, saw his three legs parlay that he said. Uh, he said. She yeah. by submission. I, oh, he, he said the Bla girl by submission. Blanchfield by sub, right, Brad? And yeah, then he got all three like super wrong. I was <laughs> I was hoping to see him right here because I was gonna kill him. Super right? wrong. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about Matty Bet's bet in this week. What what was his bet on I this week? Um, I know Brad has some tickets, but he he almost he had a three leg parlay yeah, for seventy eight grand, and it was like one leg left. Oh, it was football. Okay, I apologize. Okay, so Matty Betts pretty much got mauled all weekend on his <laughs> bets, unfortunately. And that's why he's not here today. He's he's taking a... He's crying. He's crying in bed. Yeah, it is what it is. The Hard Rock told him if if he votes for Kamala, <laughs> that they'll give him a free 500k parlay. <laughs> I got here. Matty Betty parlay. He got Eric Blanchfield by submission. And that was uh. going to pay... He, he <laughs> put like five grand. <laughs> He put like three grand to pay 150,000, but that was so bad. So it was Blanchfield by submission. He did it. Dun, dun, dun. He did it happen. <laughs> I like him a lot by KO, TKO. Oh, decision. He had Andre, Mark Andre Barrio by decision. <laughs> he lost everything. He lost everything. <laughs> no, it wasn't even remotely close, brother. No. Like Gilbert, since you are for the same division, what are your thoughts on Mike Malot? I think he's very good. I think. Uh, Do you think he won? That was an easy fight for him. Not Travis easy. Gilles? Not easy, but he was smart. When then he saw the guy has a best boxer, the guy, the guy who was throwing hands better than him, he said, "Okay, it's gonna be dangerous for me to get on the boxing distance." You know what? Let's stay a little further. So he was a little far from the guy kicking the guy a lot. Let me just make the punch with the kicking. Those guys were throwing much, so he was able, no one was trying to grapple. So he stayed on the outside, kicking and moving, kicking a little bit more, kicking a little bit more. He, he, he know, he was up on the score, outworking the other guy. And then he did. I think he's very good, he's still young, right? Yeah, and, very uh, young. He was about to be ranked when he when he fought Neil Magny. Neil Magny, when he was beating Neil Magny, and Neil Magny came back. So third round too. Yeah. Oh wow. No, he's actually a lot older than I thought he was. I thought he was. He, he's thirty two years old. He's thirty two. I think he still can be ranked. No, one hundred percent. I thought he was like twenty six. You know we are we are older than that, right? <laughs> I know, yeah. I mean, you guys will be part of the elderly division <laughs> soon. <laughs> no. But yeah, but I think it was a good fight. He fought good. And then we got who? Brandon Moreno. So did you watch Brandon Moreno and, and Albazi? I watch mm. it. You didn't watch it. The level of disrespect. You're doing picanha. I saw you post it. <laughs> Something like that. One picanha. thing about him, after every win, I, I don't know if you've noticed, after every win, this guy posts food on his Instagram story for like three months straight. 
It's the weirdest thing. It's hilarious, guy, but it's always like, post that, bro. It doesn't matter if he's fighting or not. <laughs> either Pekan is always gonna be there. But why, 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 why do you do that? Contra filé, faz o L. Why, why, why do you post? Do you know Lula? The, Lula the, the, promised the, Brazil the Brazilian people the picanha. Faz o L. <laughs> <laughs> Fala, galera. Fala, galera. I won't say the other word you So the me. Brandon Moreno. Yeah, Brandon Moreno. How was the fight? I don't know Who the fight. Who is the fight? He beat the guy, yeah. Albazi. Albazi wasn't doing much. I think he felt a little bit because the guy was doing good and then he had injuries, injuries. And then he finally got health, came back, and they all oh, main event against Brandon Moreno. And for sure he said yes. But I think he was coming back from the injury. He wasn't like that that ring you rusty got him a little bit. He looked good, but Brandon Moreno dominated him, beat him a little bit better. But yeah, but that's, just... that's the problem, right? Because Brandon Moreno is good. But do you really want to see Brandon Moreno versus Pantoja again? No, I think he did great, but Man, what he gonna do? He said he he didn't he he didn't even ask for a title shot. He let up in the air. He said, "I oh, gotta maybe do one more win to deserve another title shot." We'll see. But you know what's going on? I know what's going on. The whole division because Pantoja beat Brandon Royval, Brandon Moreno, Kai Kara France, Manuel Capi, and all these guys. Yeah, bro, all these guys are praying. Praying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just talked to Pahupa yesterday. He said, bro, everyone is praying to the Japanese win because if the Japanese yeah, beats Pantoja, everybody has a chance. <clears throat> Then, you know, they're going to try. But if Pantoja beats these guys again, if Pantoja go out there and finishes the Japanese, everybody's going to be like, wow. Well, that's the thing. I think Pantoja's like, I, what do they have on pound for pound rankings? Like number like. 10, 10, 10 or 11. 11. The well, disrespect. On the, on, the, on, the, on the rank is yeah. Brad Betts. Brad, if you could pull up the pound for pound rank. It's just disrespectful. Like the guys put in so much work and his performances time after time are just crazy. He, his chin is unreal. Bro. He just walks forward and, and just eats shots. Take it shots. easy, brother. He's 125 hey, too. Take it hey, easy. I just got back here to the, the, the second parlay <laughs> that, that Matty has. He had Caio Machado, the, the, the three or... <laughs> or the three leg parlay <laughs> was Caio Machado by KO TKO. Caio Machado lost. That was a terrible bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he had Amir Albazi. That was heavyweight. Almir, and... Almir Albazi by decision. And, <laughs> and, then he had, and he had a submission. Kobe, Kobe, Cody Gibson. I don't even know that fight. So Pantoja is not oh, even he, ranking he, he, on the pound for pound? He, wow. No. And yeah. then he had another... Yeah, he's number 11. He, he other parlay was... Look at his, his other parlay, Morikan. He had Kyle Machado round two, winner. Blanchfield <laughs> round three. Mark Malot round one. Wow. And then he had Pedro Munoz by KO to KO. <laughs> oh and then he had Nascimento Ferreira by KO. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had Blanchfield round three submission. And then he had Blanchfield round four. <laughs> and then he had Blanchfield round five, bro. That guy messed up. <laughs> really messed up so every, basically, this, what this, you're saying, he bought the 100K the last week and yes. he spent everything on, <laughs> everything on wrong be, bets. Because he put 500, then 1,000, then 1,000, then 2,300, then 525, then. 2700 3000 wow the guy lost like does that does wow. have the last uh, Blanchfield one that he put in after um, yeah he put like some crazy amount of five round by sub straight bet right? straight bet no yeah. but he put 500 for like it was paying a lot it was paying 20 grants but, but yeah i think like 5000 <clears throat> he also just won like 35 grand though i think i was like on an nfl bet though i could yeah, be wrong okay. Yeah, he, he won 35 grand. So I guess he won some of it back. But yeah, he's definitely sure. down bad. He spent well, let, Let's why, not worry about his money. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he did good, but sometimes you got a blessing when he did yeah, right? Yeah, you know, you're, you're right. You suck, Matty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta, they got to make the vote, right? The what? The concept. They like my more this concept with Caio or with Matty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, guys, I'm just actually the producer. I am not the host. Go, go, but, but Ask the, the guys. It's time for a change over here, my brother. <laughs> Matty Betts is, is, doing, is doing us wrong, my brother. What is Matty Betts? So please let me know in the comments if you like more Kyle Betts than Matty Betts. <laughs> and 
Let us know, my brother. Next time, we fucking kick Matty Bats <laughs> out. If hey. uh, if I hop on the pod, everybody gets a pay raise. So, but 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 so we done. <laughs> hey, with you the socialist, UFC my brother. Right? You're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm capitalist, so brother. So we, we done with the UFC Canada, right? Let's yeah, move, yeah. Uh, move, Brad, if you could pull up move uh, for this week. Yeah, if you could pull uh, up the next UFC card. Who, who yeah. are you excited to watch Saturday? Mark? UFC yeah. Vegas 100 main I'm, event is uh, Magni versus Pratis. I which am is, very excited to watch Magni versus Pratis. I think literally. Carlos Prates is gonna smoke him. Man. I feel like, like a <laughs> like mouth. Literally, literally. He's gonna roll new Magni mm. on a fucking paper and <laughs> light that motherfucker, my brother. That's what I think. I, think I could so be too. wrong, yes, because I, new Magni I think is so a too. tough. And you know better because you fought him, right? And I fought him and I studied him because he was supposed to fight uh, Vicente Luque like twice and then. We got to the fight week, and then that was when he got banned with the with the supplement. So they 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 had Vicente with the with the short notice opponent. So he didn't find him main, but I studied him twice. And uh, Carlos Price, I think he's, he's, he's so he's, much. He's so good. Like he's yeah. striking. I was watching. He has like ten knockouts before he got in the UFC. Like crazy knockouts. Like not not. Easy, but like folding everybody. What's his record, Brad? If you could pull that up, he's twenty and six, and then but he's fighting a lot of tough competition on the beginning in Brazil. A lot of a lot of tough guys, Ari Santos, couple guys that were coming up in Brazil. He lost, but like every fight that he lost was a war and was a very tough guy. And then the guy leaving in Thailand for five years. I just think look, he, he fought Charles Oliveira over them, bro. Tafarel, Tafarel, Charles, Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira. <laughs> That was There's Charles Oliveira one, from it? the Shopee, my brother. <laughs> from the Shopee. <laughs> Dude, bro. This is the, the Chinese Charles <laughs> Oliveira, my brother. Uh, well, Magni's last loss um, was to Vince Morales. He got finished yeah. early on August Ma 24th. Mike Morales, right? Um, yeah. Who is Vince? I thought it was Why Vince Morales. Michael Morales, huh? bro. Temple Chefs, brother. Temple <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, Michael Morales. Michael Morales. Morales. So... The only thing that Carlos Price cannot do Saturday night is the only one thing that he cannot do, Moicano. You know what he cannot do Saturday night? Get tired. He cannot get tired, bro. Five rounds. Hey, that guy. I saw your video. That's I why know, I that, asked him. That thing was so funny because I, I was watching his fights. Bro, that guy beat. If I said the guys, the, the level of the guys that he beat, Johnny Hendricks, former champ. Robbie Lawler. One on the prime or, on, or on going the prime, down? On the prime. Kelvin Gasolin. On the prime uh, or going yeah, down? Yeah, on the, on, in the prime. When the in guys the prime. were good. Like Hector Lombard. In the prime or when going Hector down? Hector was a monster. Just came up from Bellator. Beating all these guys. <laughs> a lot of former champions. A lot of tough guys. But you know when they, he beat these guys, Kyle? When these guys get tired. Mm. So those guys, if you watch all these fights, first round, everyone was smoking him. Second round, a little bit. Third round, he comes back and he get a finish and he get this fight done. So the only thing Carlos Prats cannot do Saturday night is to get tired. And I don't think he will, but that's the thing. You know, the guy smokes, loves to drink. <laughs> and to fight a guy now in the main event that knows, you know, you can knock him out. You know, you can beat him up. But let's see, the, the only difference He's Kyle Prats, bro. He's on fire, bro. Those guys are so he's Marshall Fight Nerds. He's so they long, do, too. They do a good strategy, too. I don't think he meets a lot of punches. You know, he doesn't throw a lot of volume. He put you good pressure on you, super precise with the kicks. And I think one fight that will help, I, I do believe. I didn't even ask him that. I should ask him that on my channel. But you know what the fight that he should watch and take all the strategy from? Because... They long to is the Ian Gary fight. Mm. Ian Gary was just calf kicking, jab, right hand. I think push back in the face. Ian Gary. No, I I like that fight too. But what I'm saying is, if Ian Gary did that, if Ian Gary did that, Ian Gary uh, trains with you, brother. No uh, more, no more. He's your friend. No, he's my friend. I like him, but I like Carlos too. That's a good fight. I like that well, fight. Well, speaking of Ian Gary, but, Ian Gary but, just got booked. Against Buckley. Yeah, but what I said is, man, Ian did the Muay Thai game against mm. New Magni. And the Muay Thai fighter is going to fight him, bro. Easy to this guy. Easy, no? To so you think that's the steps same. that he should follow? I think that's the same. Low kick, 
he's he's even different because he's southpaw. He's not orthodox. Mm. He's different, <laughs> right? Uh, you are, yesterday I saw I this like guy this talking fight. shit about Chandler. I like this fight, Chandler. No, I think he's a bro. You know what I think? You know what I think? I think you're right. I think those two years that Michael Chandler rest was very good for him. <laughs> You know why? Because the way he fights. Yeah, very aggressive, pushing the pace all the time, you know, getting clipped. You know, no, getting he's gonna get clipped. Anyone that he fights, the way he fights, he go crazy. And this guy don't fight for two years. Sometimes he's good. And if he yeah. stay healthy, if he stay training, if he stay, you know, he's good. When the way he did, don't get he, he, he's the same feeling that I have for Stipe Miocic. Everybody, oh Stipe, uh, that is but, no way, brother. But look. But look, think about just think about my that 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 travel that I have right now because it's stupid, freaking bro. He lost to to Dos Santos. He knocked out Dos Santos back. He lost to DC. He finished DC. In Gano. He, he was bro. He lost to. He Ingano, beat Ingano first. But he, yeah, bro. Ingano's you remember first. that first fight? What he did with Ingano? Oh yeah, my, he ragged all oh You saw Dana who came out and said said that he was happy that bro. night when. He was happy that night when Stipe beat Ngannou. Oh, Stipe beat the crap out of him. And then Ngannou beat him back and left. And this guy, for sure, he's waiting for a big fight. Okay, three, whatever. Three years without fighting, bro. But. Uh, at 41. But, but for heavyweight, sometimes yeah, he's good. Yeah, that's different, yeah. You know, but for heavyweight, like you were saying about heavyweight, you ever saw Stipe Miocic fat, out of shape? No, no this guy no. is always in yeah, shape. Yeah, he's a firefighter. A freaking yeah. monster. Sometimes, no, bro, that's just but propaganda. but the way I think yeah. is <laughs> he's just for the media. Do you but think he goes and, he and saves goes. people he, houses? You know, this stuff? guy goes right. He's crazy. He goes. No, he and I was in a couple of more. Just got the paycheck. <laughs> I was in a couple more appearances with this guy. This guy's in shape, bro. Like crazy. Bro. Really he's recently. Strong, strong, bro. Strong, big guy. And uh, sometimes it's good that they don't fight for a while. You know, he's sometimes for sure you got the 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 ring rush. You couple guys, but for other guys. They look very good after a little time off. So, so I what do you see. think? What do you think is like the best even playing field then for like time and off? Everybody's different. Like I think for grapplers and wrestlers, those guys need to fight a lot, you know, because that's the the word. Like when we used to compete in grappling and wrestling, we bro, we compete, we compete, we compete. Wrestlers should they compete? These the, the whole season competing. But I think when you were striker. A striker, bro. Those guys had one big Muay Thai fight. They all messed up, especially if. But went, they fight every week, kickboxers. If they went to Thailand, if they <laughs> fought on that level, yes. But other guys, they get beat up, bro. They fight. They all, kick, especially kickboxing. You know, they get all oh, man messed up for like a little bit. So it depends a lot the way they grow up, the 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 style of martial arts and for person. A couple guys like to compete, like to stay active. Couple guys like to take a little break, you know. What do you I, think? I I have other opinion. My opinion yeah. is, if you have a lot of money, you don't need to have fight often. <laughs> right. If you don't have money, keep fighting, motherfucker. That's nice. Well, that's I something like I also want to say too. I'm sure early in your guys' careers, you guys are fighting what like every weekend in order to like get somewhere or make some money, right? It uh, was pretty often. I wouldn't say every weekend, but every no, couple no, months, right? No, no, no. In the UFC, when I was not injured, I was fighting. He too. If he was not injured, he was trying to fight. But I'd say even before you. Back UFC. in the days, back in the days, it was not a lot of events like that. Like every week, eight packs yeah. was not like that. You remember that, UFC the old days? was like three, 12, three 12 UFCs a year. In the whole year, oh, bro. Yeah. It was hard. When did you start to follow up UFC? Um, Last year. No. <laughs> uh, six months ago when I got this fucking job. When I saw Sean O'Malley. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, when I saw Sean O'Malley. The yeah. level of disrespect. No, actually, one of the first fights I've ever watched was a, a Chuck Liddell fight. But nah, I, don't come with no, that, I'm my so, brother. I'm serious. I but, give it. But, do believe this but, motherfucker. But, but, but the nah, first... Chuck Liddell, my brother. But, 20 push-ups, bro. 20 push-ups. The level of disrespect. <laughs> this but guy. When I really started watching, if I'm going to be completely honest, was 2015. The first, like, legit fight was... um. McGregor versus Chandler. Uh, not Chandler. McGregor versus Chad Eddie Mendes. Alvarez. Chad Mendes. Chad Mendes. But then you start following like... Yeah, I was a huge McGregor fan. Um, I was a huge... Well, he, this guy ate a rat. This, this motherfucker destroyed the, the rest of my <laughs> What this guy is eating, man, brother? <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't open the fucking door and brother. It's fucking terrible. 
<laughs> hey, we need an upgrade in the studio. We need, bro. The, we need two, only two one bathrooms. bathroom. Yeah. Freaking Brett, Yo, when he goes there, oh my. Like, man, why wow. this motherfucker all the time take your shit over here, my bro? <laughs> every fucking you don't, every you don't, episode. You don't have a bathroom in your you house, brother? <laughs> The guys come up, we start to edit the videos and take a shit on the rest. Because he just woke up and came. So yes. he woke up and got a... Bro, wow. Yeah. We, need to, we need to buy this guy a gut cleanse or something, <laughs> wow. brother. This guy is He need to drink bleach, my brother. To see <laughs> 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 the level of Jesus Christ. Where's Maddie? Hey, Maddie, we need, we need a race. <laughs> he says he needs to drink anyways, bleach. Anyways, but now so, so the first fight you watched was Chuck Liddell? <laughs> Yeah, it was not live. It was not live. No, 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 no. It wasn't live. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't live. Um, um, uh, uh, what's Evans? Evans. We don't say Evans. Rashad Evans. Rashad Evans. Rashad Evans. How the fight ended? Rashad Evans knocked him out. Overhand. Rashad Evans. Yeah. Um, I'm right. What round? Come on, what round was it then? You tell, you tell me what round. round. You tell me what First round. round, bro. Oh, wow. What was the UFC? Do you remember? It was like 98 or something. Something like that. Bro. <laughs> don't push anymore. Okay, we believe you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but now the first fight I, I was telling him that I really watched was um, McGregor versus Mendez. So he's in McGregor area. So yeah. like 2014, 2015. Then ever McGregor since then, area. I can't lie, I was a huge McGregor fanboy because it was just like the craziest like come up ever yeah. like and then he fought aldo and then everybody was saying how like oh he- man i used to hate my greg at this time <laughs> told, yeah i used to hate my greg at this time but it is what it is. anyways let's get back to the so to the next uh, week card so how do you think the fight is going to play out uh gilbert burns, what fight? Gilbert burns. main event <laughs> i think carlos brads get a late finish i think Four rounds, three rounds. Four rounds. I think uh, you he's, know, he's going to be even good for, so, for so, Carlos so Pratis. Lay out. How the fight I gonna think, play? I think he's going to play out kind of the way Ian Gary fought Neil Magny. But the only thing is going to be not a lot of calf <clears throat> kick because he's southpaw. So it's going to be those inside kicks, body kick, head kick, jab, jab, jab. Good, And he has good jabs. Uh, I think Carlos Pratis is going to control the distance a lot. And put a lot of pressure on New Magni. Not in the beginning. New Magni can run. We're gonna try to get a little bit on the clinch, but this guy clinch. You know the difference. The difference, Moicano, is the clinch that these guys do in 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 Thailand. New Magni, no, the, no. The college, college these practice. guys gotta do a lot of clinch, and that mm-hmm. clinch is a high level. Those guys run in the morning, got back and clinch. Man, but I don't know. I think the best attribute of New Magni is the clinch. You yeah. remember when he beat? Uh, Kevin Gasolin. I believe. I, I agree. But the only difference... Yeah, but you know better. You fought him. The, but the How do you take him down? How did you uh, take him down? Right hand, body lock. Body lock? Easy? Yeah, easy. No, you didn't mm-hmm. feel strong and, or anything? No. Easy money. It was a very easy fight, right? I, I didn't, remember. I was watching honest, a couple, like, couple mm-hmm. fights, bro. It's a war. Like, oh my God. Like, man. why did, You know? couple fights. Uh, he, I didn't feel him super strong. But it's very it's hard to say because they put this guy in bad position super quick, you know. Like I didn't, I wasn't in the bad position to kind of oh my god, like that guy is strong. I was dominated, I was in good position, Pushing so pace, it's kind of easier to say oh I didn't right. feel anything. Yeah, because I I I was in a good <clears throat> position. But I agree with you. I think he's the clinch. If if you were new Magni coach, what's going to be your strategy to beat this guy? One hundred percent. Take clinch, down. take down 100%. But like, it, it's, it's uh, unbelievable. Like, make this guy tired at least. You don't need to finish tired. it in yeah, second, third round. I would say, brother, he smoke. I, I really think <laughs> no. that's incredible that this guy doing. I agree. Being such a high level and he's smoking. But, he's but if you, now let me change that question, make it even harder. If you were new Magnus Shane conditioning coach. What are you going to tell to him, bro? I, I would tell start to smoke <laughs> fucking cigarettes, my brother. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make this guy so tired, yeah. right? Like, we're well, going, Process bro. has a 75% KO rate and 80% t- <clears throat> takedown defense rate. And his jiu-jitsu is not bad. I was watching yeah. a lot of his fights before to, to, to talk to him on the channel. This guy had a couple sweeps, Moicano. Like, half guard sweep, butterfly sweep, black button jiu-jitsu, a couple get-ups, and like... Okay, but it's not you know bad. what? I was impressed by how much a favorite Carlos Prati is on the fight. Minus six hundred. Because of the hype, Minus, right? Eight hundred. Eight. Five five thirty. 
Five fifty. No, no, that's oh. mag. Oh yeah, mine he's is minus eight hundred. Eight hundred is yeah. is bananas, brother. Eight <laughs> hundred. Yeah, 800 is a lot. That's like 80 to 1. I, eight to one. Yeah. I don't know if it should be that that much. What do you think? Well, yeah, that means that they're just pushing them heavy. But I think the they're pushing. You know, I was talking to him on the channel, and then he said that, <clears throat> that he's supposed to fight Randy Brown on the on, in New York, and then Randy Brown posted that he's going to fight in December, and they said, like, what? No, mm. he said he even went to his page and said, hey, we're going to fight in November, bro. And then he said, Randy Brown responded. He said, hey, we're going to fight when I say we're going to fight. <laughs> oh, and then he got so mad. He called his man and said, bro, I'm not fighting this guy in December. I'm fighting this guy in November when this guy, when you guys offer. Oh, and wow. then there was a lot of back and forth. He's waiting. He's training for November 16, MSG. And then he said, then he got a phone call from his manager. Then he was, he just finished the training. He was he and his trainer and his manager, bro, uh, I don't think we're going to fight. November 16th. I think we're going to fight November 9th. And then he said, he was on the phone like, <laughs> yeah. no. And then he said, but it's going to be main event. And he said, uh, it's going to be new Megan. And then he said, he changed it real quick. He was from no to yes real quick. Like he, he said, this manager told him like on that conversation, they need a main event for November 9th. And they were just like, bro, we need a main event. And then they said, they know why. Said, how about that guy Carlos Prat? Oh, like him oh wow. Event. And it's like, think about how much good you're doing to out of freaking meeting Dana White remember your name. Yeah. Man, if, if Dana White know your name, that's a good thing first. Because I don't, thing, I don't think he knows. He didn't know us for a long time, bro. 10 years in the UFC. Yeah. Now he knows it. Yeah, yeah. Like, even now, if they ask him money, my country, what the fuck is that guy? Nah, no, no shot, bro. Hey, no shot. He, he knows, knows you now for sure. So then now let me ask you know. this then. So <clears throat> they gave Protus the call, right, to, to hop in for this UFC fight night main event. Do you think, in your guys' opinion... Now you try to run the show, my brother. What the, what the fuck is going on <laughs> there, my brother? Gee, I, I'm just getting mad. Me. We need you back, bro. I'm huh? getting bullied on this huh? shit. This is ridiculous. You're trying to run the fucking show, my brother? 45 push-ups. Force... Bro. Brother, this is your first day in the job, <laughs> oh and you're trying to make the rules. What do you think of it? Unbelievable. Yeah. And you want a window seat. Go do, all the way to no, the No, brother, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. You guys want to <laughs> grapple again, bro? I'm ready this week. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm joking. What, what you say? No, but I was going to say... Um, I fucking lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Push 50 push-ups now. No, like, if you guys were in that position and Dana called you and said, fight night or be, like, main event for Madison Square... Or not main event, but, like, co-main event or at least main card on Madison Bro, Square Garden. Just to don't fight in New York and lose the money for these taxes is amazing. Mm. So New York is good because the MSG and, and a lot of people there, uh, like, John John is card, <laughs> Charles Oliveira is good ice. But if they put you on the apex, first of all, you don't pay those extra tax. Secondly, but do you get tax? Secondly, for sure, yeah. yeah. In New York, right, right never, away? I never fought there, my guy, because of no, that. No, so I think you, but these you, guys, guys you have Brazil, to pay later. But being Carlos Price, yeah. guys in Brazil, okay. for yeah, sure. Gonna, he's he's, gonna yeah, 100%. He's going to He's not even going to see it. Yeah. So, but now this guy, you know what? The chance grows. Now he's a main event. Mm. So much more attention. Everybody... He, I talked to him on the other party yesterday, and then he said, "Bro, I got here on the, on the, <clears throat> on the PI. Everybody be nice to me. Hey, you don't need anything. Everybody mm. like because he's the main event. So yeah. every UFC is taking care of him, and easier for him to make this fifty thousand over there because uh, if you go to New York yeah. to try to get a fifty thousand on John John Rufy, Charles Oliveira Charles in the Oliveira. same card." Hoofy, yeah. Bo Nico. But yeah. don't you it's think he would hard. get don't you think he would get more eyes on him though instead of the UFC fight night? Depends. Depends. If he goes out there, first main event, kill yeah. the guy, get a cigarette, yeah. get the mic, go yeah. crazy, he goes what? viral. You know? what? What if, if, he doesn't go viral for the whole three months. Yeah. But he goes viral for like three, four days. Amazing. Yeah. What if what if in between rounds you saw him go back to his corner and they gave him a cigarette in between rounds? Yes. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> That would be crazy, right? Yeah, that would be cool. I don't think... Lighting a fucking cigarette in a fight. Like, that like, motherfucker is a badass. Nate Diaz did in the conference, right? Yeah, he was smoking yeah. weed. Yeah. 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 But that was fucking... That guy. Marijuana, my brother. <laughs> yeah. okay, Carlos Prats is a straight nicotine, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> but let me ask you something. So do you think, like when he was saying, New Magni, 
Do you think New Magni is easier than, easy than Rand Brown? Different style, mm. you know. Randy Brown is longer. He's on a good momentum right now. He wants to get on the ranking too. I just think New Magni has is a bigger name with more rewards. You know, like it's a guy that everyone knows it. Every Brazilian fan knows it. Even even Kyle just became a fan like six months ago. He <laughs> knows, but. And he's a main event, you know, and the guy's ranked, so it's a way better opportunity than Randy Brown, you know. And Randy Brown's actually and, fighting Brian Battle next. And that, but that fight was pushed nice forward fight, to too. December, and then he was he wants to fight in November, so I think it would be great for Carlos Bratis. Brad, and, if you can go to the next, oh yeah, next fight. So we got Cody Garbrandt versus Miles Johns. What do you guys think about that fight? I have no idea. <laughs> That's at the fight. I that, have no idea. You know, you know what happened? Cody Garbrandt, we know he's not on his prime. You know, the guy freaking former champion monster. But then you give him to a guy that's coming up, Myers Jones. For this mm -hmm. guy, bro, he's the the is you know, he's, he's the fight of your life. Now you're gonna make him money after a former champ. So it's gonna be a tough fight for for Cody Garbrandt, you know. And then what is this guy doing, bro. The level of disrespect from this guy. Then we got Carolina. Can you pronounce that last name for me? Carolina Kowalczewski. <laughs> Kowalczewski. <laughs> Against Denise this Gomez. Is, Denise Gomez. That's a tough fight for Carolina. Carolina is 39, you're right? 39 years old. She's a plus 390 favorite against Gomez, who is. She's a, favorite? On the one? I'm sorry, underdog. Yeah, I think she's under there, yeah. Versus... Denise is young, like, bang. Yeah, you know? she's, she's a gonna beast. She's going to come to bang. Yeah, she's a beast. That's going to be a sure. good fight. Be below that, who's the next one? Ricky. Ricky Chibusio. I guess. I don't know who that fight too. <laughs> and the other fight, Gerard Mirchard yeah. against the guy that was champion in one championship. You know this guy? Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu guy too. I think G GM3 is I, going to beat the guy. I think so too. They train together. They came to the gym. They train together. GM3 is he still training with you? He's still training with you. Nice guy, bro. Good. We don't, gotta, don't watch my videos, we GM3. Got, <laughs> you don't watch anymore? Why not? <laughs> don't watch my videos. Why not? I keep telling him that he's bad, brother, but I saw him on the show. Well, he can grapple, bro. He's, he's, no, I know. He can grapple. I know. Yeah, he's, he's just a joke. Don't, he, don't, he, don't get too he, personal. He gets crazy submission. He's he's 100% finish rate every yeah. week. Or he knocked out or he get a submission. So he's entertained. But, but I think he's, he I think him. he's beating Heine every day, every day. <laughs> I think so too. Wait, say that one more time. What's his name in English, please? Rainier De Ritter. De Ritter. No. This guy's not. This, this, <laughs> no. Wait, what do you You're mean? Wrong. What do you mean? No. What, what no, bro. This is this guy English? No, he's Dutch. He's, yeah. He's so his name is Henny de Hidi. from the Netherlands, from Dutch. Brad, if you could scroll down. Luana so, Pinheiro, let me tell you something. Luana Pinheiro, I think she's a good underdog against Jillian Robertson. She's a plus. Hey, wh what happened? Why? Why? Why is Eliseu Zalas dos Santos not fighting Nicholas Dalby? Who is that guy? Yeah, Zach? he was supposed mm. to fight Nicholas Dalby. What happened? What happened with Zachary? Let me look that up. He's proging, he's croging. Who is that guy? No, probably new to the USC. No, no, but Nicholas Dalby pulled out. I think actually, probably. I think I saw that. You saw that? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. That he blew my brother. Yeah. Because that was the rematch from Zalaski from a fight that was very close. They gave to Nicholas Dalby, if I'm not wrong. That was a nice rematch. And then we Matter got... Matter with Mary Burger. To do a bitch. Charles Hadic. To do easy money for Charles Hadic. Charles Hadic. Easy money. Easy. Take down. And go scroll down a little bit and more, Brad. And Dusko to Dorovic probably and, is a good one. And, and who you got on that one? Cody Statement versus Damon Blackshear. Damon Blackshear. Uh, Damon Blackshear is doing the camp there at the gym. Yeah? Is yeah. he good? He's bro. The guy trains a lot. He's good. Good, good striker and wrestler. No, he... Pull out a couple good submissions. He, he trains very hard. He lost. He got knocked out with a jab. Didn't Maddie yeah. put ten thousand dollars on yes, him? Yes, and then he <laughs> lost. Yo, see, 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 Maddie. I'm honest when I'm talking crap. I go in and I say, "Hey, see, I'm not." See, this guy just like, "Oh, did you, Maddie?" See, wow, the level hey, of disrespect. Sixty push-ups, bro. Yeah, and Gaston Bolanos against that. Oh, they changed that guy too, right? No? No, the same. No, no. 
Chocoli. Cortavius is a guy from Contender. And Chocoli. Chocoli. Dana White, Dana White just called him dumb on live TV. Do you remember that? <laughs> wow, no, I didn't watch that. Like, he beat the shit off the guy. The guy was knocked out and he was taken down. And they say, man, I don't know. I think you dumb. He'd say something like that. He'd say, wow. you, you, you may have the worst fight IQ, but I'm gonna give you a, ch a shot. And then... He's putting wow. against Gaston Boilano. And, so. and, and how about that guy, like that guy, Trigin Gore? You know, we know what happened to this guy. Mm. This guy is a son of a <laughs> son of a son they, of a the mm -hmm. guy that you said they were just a heavyweight they went down to, to middleweight. What is his name? Cannoneer? Cannoneer. Cannoneer and uh, Derek uh, and uh Darren Till had a son, that guy born. Why? Why? He, just, looks, he, he looks. He looks like, like Darren Till a little bit, but he's black, you know. But he looks a little bit. Look, look, get, get his, his photo a little closer. Darren Till, my brother. Darren Till. Zoom in a little, Brad. You could just the level of disrespect to Trevor. Look, Gore. he's a he's a Darren Till. Oh my God, he actually does. He's a Darren Till black boy that with, <laughs> with the mixing of a of a. This guy said he's gonna come to here. kill Cliff now and look for you, bro. Yeah, you keep talking shit about the fighters, bro. Yeah. They're gonna, <laughs> they're, they're gonna come for you. What happens? Get, get Gilbert, the one on the left. That no, no, down. Gilbert, what happens? Yeah, one this guy more comes down. One more. That one. No, no, that he's cutting weight on, on the left. <laughs> on the left, my guy. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that's Darren Till, kind of near son, bro. Yeah, that's the. I don't know, brother. He doesn't the, look like he's gonna be, for me. Gilbert, he's going to be the next Imovov. He's going to come up to you in the gym, bro. Imovov is there. Imovov is going to be there too. The same show. I want to get better from that surgery to train with him. Brad, if you can go back to the card. So <clears throat> that's it. We'll uh, we'll build out a parlay for, for our, our sponsor. Moicano knows. Moicano knows. That's cool. We're going to. Yeah. That's Moicano. Let's go. Let's go, Moicano. Let's go, Moicano. Hey, who you no, got? No, brother, I just got a deal with his steak. I cannot... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cut that. <laughs> hey, first of all, steak, the best. <laughs> and don't oh. cut that shit out, my brother, because they fucking pay. <laughs> don't, don't cut that shit, my brother. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> where's where's Gilbert's deal with steak? Me, I don't have a deal with no gambling, so that's all Come you on, guys. Bro. So that's Kyle. That's his Kyle job. All right, do perfect. The do the well, they, they better give me a deal now. Yeah. I need Let's thirty bands straight to me. Wired. Um, now, so we'll build up the parlay. <clears throat> you gotta read that, right? Yeah, so sign up with the code. Show me with our sweepstakes sponsor, Fliff. The code will be in the description. So. Here we got Magni Prat. Do you want to put Pratis in the in the? He's yeah. a heavy favorite, though. No, he's a heavy favorite. Gym though. How's Jim? We could put we could put we could put Pratis by by G knockout. Jim three. three. How's Jim three in, in, in Pratis by knockout? Right. Let's see. TKO, let me, no? let me pull it up. TKO. Bear with me one second. Yeah, I hurt that guy. I so don't much. think he's beating him on a decision. So TKO is a good bet. TKO. Jim three is a plus two fifteen underdog. Hey wow. brother, why do why why do you have a Rolex on your fucking wrist? Are you a mobster or a low and shark or fucking <laughs> something? I thought you were a producer, brother. Why I don't have a Rolex wow. over here? I want to be a less change. You gotta be a producer too. Look at this. Bro. Look at this. The level. You work hard. It's Fifteen cap bands, brother. Fifteen bands. Nah, not that much. How older, much? Older, 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 older. Eight thousand. Eight thousand? Yeah. Don't don't, bro. Don't I don't lie, think don't this lie, is like eight thousand. Don't lie. You stole that on the street, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, wow. On Fliff now, Carlos Pratis is minus 935. Let's see if we can get... By no, nah, I don't by think... TKO. That would not pay a lot, too. So we'll start off with GM3 first. He's a plus 230. You want to do money line? Just to win? Yeah. So GM3 plus 230. Who's another one that you think is going to win? Moicano. Gem 3. Keep, keep going down, keep going down. Gem 3 for sure. But Zaleski with the new opponent now or no? And Charles Hadjic. Charles Hadjic. Charles Hadjic is not losing to Matheus Smiley Bug, my brother. Hey, brother, you just become a producer on Brad Betts. See, you start <laughs> to talk shit too? <laughs> yeah, that's my job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking, brother. This is the three-leg parlay for now until... The knockout prop opens. We have 
Gerald or GM3, money line plus 230. Charlie Radke, minus 185. And then Carlos Pratis, minus 935. Yes. Plus 462. $1,000 will win you $5,627. And then again, code show me in the description. Now we got to finish with the best question for Mo Icano. Who, who, I put 10,000 bands <laughs> oh. on fucking Trump, my brother. But you put, you put, I'm not... Yeah, did, 10 did. fucking thousand, my brother. And not you only... On, where, where, where? You on all, no, I'm not gonna... <laughs> they're not <laughs> paying me for this shit. Inside man. information, come on. Yeah, How but... How much you make it back when, when Trump wins? 16,000, my brother. 16,000. But the problem Very is... Risky, bro. Very I put, risky, bro. I put on popular vote, brother. No, not, not to win the, the election. So that would be... That would be hard. I right? think that's, that's even a bigger sweat. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it is. I 100%. think Republicans don't so win, win the popular 16, vote in the, in the last 30 years. 16, 16? <laughs> but I, I think people are so people are so mad with this fucking stuff yes. that they're gonna yes. vote for Trump. Today's the last day, my brother. So remember. Did you vote? Did you vote yet? I cannot fucking vote, my brother. I'm a legal immigrant, my brother, from Honduras. <laughs> you came Are you from, fucking kidding you came me? From I'm living on Where? welfare, brother. They pay me 2.5K a month, brother. You came from, from Dallas, Texas? I, Where I came? came from fucking the, the wall, brother. I <laughs> jumped the wall, okay? So, joke is uh, aside, my brother. I'm not, I'm not joking anymore. Some people are concerned about that, brother. I think the election will be fucked up. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm going to be honest. I'm very scared. I mean, obviously, as of like two weeks ago, the, the odds were like he was up 62%. You scared, bro? I'm petrified, I'll protect, bro. I'll protect you, bro. Don't be scared, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Hey. Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid. afraid. You hey, protect don't me? Don't be afraid. But hey, but hey, like you said in, in Brazil, in Portuguese, because that's so corrupt over there like crazy. Yeah. I think they're learning here. They learning in Brazil what they doing here now. They learning. Well, they, oh, they do that in Brazil. We're gonna do here too. Uh -huh. Soon they're gonna bring the it, the working. voting machine, electronic but, voting machine. Well, have you seen the videos but, where the people are clicking Donald Trump? There's videos, and then it clicks Kamala Harris. The guy does it like four times in a row, and it clicks Kamala Harris. Brother, you've been Brazil. watching TikTok the whole day. I bet you you saw that on TikTok, right? Um, be honest, brother. Yes, Just yeah, be honest. You saw that. The Don't watch fucking TikTok, my brother. They keep telling this to people. Why? Because fucking TikTok is Chinese, my brother. You brother, can't... you don't think Instagram has all your stuff just like TikTok does? But it's different. It's different. How is it different? Because Instagram is subscribed to the legal system of America. That's a little better than the Chinese one. So... Way better, brother. Imagine you cannot have a fair judgment in China. That's the fucking truth. China, China, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but my whole point is over here, brother. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm scared. You know why? Because they want to raise the taxes, brother. Yes. If Kamala yeah, wins, that's gonna, the that's fucking the business thing. owner, the the yeah. people that produce, gonna be fucked. And people that <laughs> like handouts and welfare yeah. and money. Like bread bats. Yeah. Look at that. The motherfucker is a Democrat, my brother. <laughs> he, he's definitely a Kamala supporter. So yeah, it's getting scared. The odds are closing in for if, sure. If Kamala wins, where are we moving to? Oh my God. Moving. That's the problem. I saw that. I say. I'm I not say going to Brazil. that I'm moving to Brazil, <laughs> but Brazil, I think, is worse. I mean, worse. If I'm you see right now, the dollar is six reais, my brother. For people that lives over there, it's just yeah, unbelievable. One dollar is six over there. So for us. It's Who good. There is amazing. Yeah, so yeah. you guys are big billionaires. Grand, yeah, two, two grams. There you go. We have twelve grams over there. <laughs> but the, the problem is but people the, that live over but there. But they the opposite. If you if you a doctor in Brazil, if you're making a good money, you are working super hard, you are raising a family, paying your 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 school for your kids it has to be private. Your car has to be bulletproof. And then if you want to come to the U.S., bro, if you come with the Six thousand days is only a thousand here, so you don't buy much, you don't do much. So the opposite is, is so bad. And if you walk in the street with a watch like that, they're gonna cut your head off, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, not even joking. Well, I got you guys with me, so I'll be all brother, right. I, I think I cannot protect you like that. <laughs> 
They're gonna cut your head off just because of your watch. Hey, don't say that. People are gonna be thinking just. No, but it's true because the other day I was in, in fucking Sao Paulo with and the, I, I was with, with a head? watch and the wow. and the chain. What watch? What watch? A fucking a fucking Rolex mm. like that, the submarine. But better, better, better. No, not grand, the same fee. I like I like I like simple grand, things. I like grand, simple things. Fifteen fee simple. No, simple. it's like 10 10 k. Yeah. But but. Uh, really? <laughs> like that, nah, that's that, fucking nonsense, nice, my brother. This guy's bougie now. Yeah? Look at him. He wants a couple fights. Ah, just 10k. Fucking 10k, my brother. Are you kidding me? But the guy, I was in elevator, and then uh, old guy say, "Hey, brother, take your your watch off and the chain because they're gonna fucking kill you because of that." That's true. This, in in São Paulo, Paulo, yes. See, São Paulo is worse than real now. What man? São Paulo is fucking. Ruled by like drug new, cartels, my brother. It's like a New York, but older. New York. Old, if yeah. New York has like 20 more years in São Paulo. Do you remember really? when the Italians used to run São Paulo? Now yeah. it's, it's uh, New York, New York. São Paulo is, is the fucking same. So I'm very worried that USA will become a very bad place. And uh, But then we gotta change the subject. You gotta ask that question for Mani Moicano. Do you have a fight coming up? You bro, don't need to, to say Luma, date brother. and appointment. <laughs> you don't need to say brother, we're you don't about need to the election, my brother. Date or name. But I just need the yes or no. Do you have, have a fight a coming up? I don't up? have a contract yet, but we have a they offer you a name. They offer me. You cannot say yes. They for offer sure. me, I'm gonna say. They they offer me wait, 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 the wait, main wait. event for December 14th first. And you say Ooh. yes. I, of course I say Someone yes. Someone say no. Someone say no. <laughs> Someone say no. Was the name Gilbert Burns? No, no, no. you cannot say the name. No, no, no right. name, not even no names, close. Not no even no like, names, oh, that, no, no information, no. my brother. <laughs> no, no more information. Yeah, just, this is like... Uh, just that you accept a fight that was offered for you for Tampa. Tampa. Main event. Money Moikan was to be the main wow. event one more time, but the opponent, he said, uh, you know what? I don't want that smoke. You don't want that Carlos so, Pratis. But then he they... Don't want they, that smoke. they, they After that, they say any day. They no, still not yet. I'm still Nothing waiting. Okay. I'm still waiting, but I'm pretty sure I will fight January. But you, I want to fight as soon as you, possible. But you, you were shocked. Uh, you knew the guy said no already, or you were shocked when they announced Ian Gary against? No, Buckley? I kind of knew because somebody said to me that he he would not make the weight. Right? Yeah, I don't mm. know. Yeah, somebody say something mm. like that. Mary Beth. Ah, Mary Beth. <laughs> Maybe inside Mary information. Somebody say Nancy inside Pelosi. He said, brother, But, don't, don't, don't get too happy because probably he's not gonna make the weight. And this. But then, okay. But you were waiting. They didn't say nothing back. I was waiting. They offer you. You say yes, and you yes, waiting. Yes. Yes. And then, boom, Buckley yeah. against Ian Gary. Yeah. Main event. So in the, which I think is mm, a good fight. Everybody okay. knows that that fight was supposed to be Kobe Covington. And yeah, everybody Gary, knows. Everybody what happened? Knows what happened? You tell me, brother. He's no, what happened? He's not ready. He's hurt. Of course, he's he, man. Traveling. I don't think. I I would say Trump because it, Kobe has said <laughs> Trump. No, I don't think Kobe wants to fight anymore. How old are he? 30, 40? 39, no, 39? No. 35 and 40. I would say 36, 7. I think he's like 36, 34. Let me say. No, no, 36. 36. 36, 36 yeah. So he's not that even that old. When he makes, when he turns 37. Um, February, February so 37, so yeah. Oh, yeah, very soon. That surprised me because I think Ian Gary is a good fight for him. Stylistically, Stylistically like, take this guy yeah. down. So they offered that fight to Kobe Covito. Kobe Covito didn't want to fight them. The, the, Why do you think that? Yeah, I don't know. That's the problem. What do you think? You know? I don't know. You don't want to fight this guy right now, or maybe. Man, like, he was calling no. him out. He was. He was talking shit to young Gary. But he does that all the time. No, he no, does no, that no, with that, everybody. That was levels. For this guy, was the wife. It was like... Yeah, was, was yeah but much. he did that with Dustin I don't like when you too. bring up family. No, no, but that was yeah. too much. You know, we, he doesn't... He doesn't... You cannot compare what he said to just to Dustin. To Dustin was one time a little bit. To Ian Gary was so many videos and interviews videos, yeah. with so much that are like wow do you think it's a money thing maybe i think no. i don't think it's a money thing i think he's he's very super compensated for the ufc you know but yeah i don't know what about you you don't have a fight no i gotta get good from the surgery first and then and then get a fight so what do you think you'll be healed up from the hurt? <sighs> bro this doctor said three weeks said but i bro i don't believe more in the u.s doctors bro He's, he's a lot of things that are crazy, but the doctors in Brazil are good, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Really? When this guy came at me and said, oh, two, You three, know why? You know why weeks. they're good? 
mm. because you guys don't have uh, public healthcare. Healthcare, right? The, you you kind of have, but it's like a private. So people go to mm. private. Mm. In Brazil, you have public hospital that are shit. So bad. Mm. So fucking bad. Damn. So e even, they get even the public schools here are good. The public schools in Brazil terrible. Yeah. So the the hospitals. They put a bunch of people and they don't have a lot of nurses and stuff. Everything. Yeah. So the doctors are super good because they fucking stitching motherfuckers on a fucking <laughs> bench. Yeah, they, they very good. They're they very good. Yeah, that's true. Level. That's true. The, the, oh, you're saying they're better because they better. of the conditions. Because, because of, of the, the conditions. conditions. Yeah. The conditions are so yeah. horrible. Yeah. And they make it happen. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like I have a a mulher do esposo do Daniel lá de Brasília. Uh, Uh, a wife from one of my friends, she's from the emergency in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Oh, they make like, I don't know, it's a miracle because sometimes come accident, people sick and, and they don't have infra, infra structure. They don't have room. Some, uh, sometimes they, they are on the room. fucking they, uh, hall. Yeah, it's oh, on wow. the hallway. And they, and, yeah. they, and they working because people, otherwise they're gonna die. So you yeah. gotta do something. And they're so good and so effective that they're like different efficient. Level. Yeah, efficient, like because they, they cannot rely on so equipment and stuff. <clears throat> do you think that's why a lot of people like go overseas for surgeries and yes, stuff like that? I thing? think so too. Yes. Here, I did a surgery. And the guy said, oh, three weeks. Don't worry, bro. I was. In, I'm telling you, I'm not. I, that was one of the worst surgeries I had for a freaking hernia. Really, bro. I'm telling you, I was in pain. That I was just like, bro, I, I don't know. Next surgery, next thing that I do, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing in Brazil 100%, 1, yeah. 1, but I don't know if the, the doctor said three weeks, I'm gonna wait a little bit more. I'm going to go back to the doctor. I hope I can get back to training soon because I want to. I was hoping to fight December 14. You know, if that's really, Tampa. if that surgery yeah. was good the way they said, if I could get it done right after the fight, I want to fight it soon, but now, who, who if. If you had to anyone, bro, I'm on the position now that I and I come from a couple of losses, I cannot say nothing, bro. Let me ask you about anything? that then. Like, how's your mindset been? Obviously, because like a lot of people, hey, bro, that's gonna talk the 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 David Goggins shit well, right no. now. Well, well no, no, but the thing, no, well, seriously yeah. though, like when fans watch from outside, it's so easy to watch someone's fight, regardless of Morcano, Gilbert, whoever. Oh, that guy lost. He sucks. You know what I mean? But you don't know what the person's yeah. actually going through. You don't know, no, like he, he sucks when you lose, bro. like. He eat. No, he, but he's saying the guy sucks. Like you bad because you lost. What that was he saying? Yeah, I it's kind of for me super clear. I know who I am. You know, I right. grappled my whole life. I had competition that I didn't look good. Competition that I won world championships, big fights. You know, number one contender fights. I've been fighting the best guys. Fight for the belt cup so, two times, yeah, right? One time, and no. then I I freaking look horrible my last fight. You know, like no excuse. Like I was saying with Moicano. Couple guys looked so bad last week. He, we know one guy was taking antibiotics, the other guy, but bro, we gotta show up. At that yeah. moment, you gotta show up. It's no excuse. So I have no excuse. I didn't look good. I gotta go back and fight. You know, it sucks that moment. But for me, it's clear that that moment is a moment. Those 25 minutes, I didn't look good. It's not that my whole life around that I don't Subs, look good. Right. It's just a moment. People want to realize, like, whenever I fight and get a knockout, it was a moment. You know what I mean? Right. It, it, that, that does make sense. Right. Because yeah. when poor thing goes out there and boom, shama, it's a moment. You cannot just, oh, because of that moment. Like, that little moment that should not change you. Doesn't you define know? who you are. The, that moment was a moment was... From the 24 hours of his life was 10 seconds, he boom. Yeah. It shouldn't define you. That was amazing. That was great that you did. You're going to keep training, keep doing better, keep doing better. If I did better, I'm going to train. I'm going to get better. I'm going to... But that doesn't define Porta as a parent, right. as a friend, as a son, as a hard worker, as a guy because of that, you know? like right. And like... I, I, it was not easy for me to kind of divide that a little bit to get that better. But eventually, like, yeah, he sucks that competition. But I'm not just the fighter Gilbert Burns. I'm like, yeah, I'm like Gilbert Burns. That like, he's a, oh, I have a great news. As soon as I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know. But I have great news. But personal news. But 
is not the out of thing. I still gotta work. I still gotta take care of my Personal kids, news. my family. There's mm. a lot of things going on YouTube. <laughs> so, but but uh, but let me ask you something. That, that was good. That was good. And what, what I think what Gilbert is is trying to say is silence the noise and keep you keep doing working, what you're doing. Keep I think that that's it. If, that's why I say, I say people bad. all the time, hey, you have talk shit. I just not gonna watch, you know? Fuck yeah, that. Keep, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing <clears> my thing. Because if you win, everybody and, loves you. But if you lose, everybody yeah. hates you. That doesn't fucking matter, yeah, right? Yeah, bro. And then and is you a producer. One day you come and you messed up, you messed up. Remember yeah. remember that part yeah. that we came and we yeah. recorded the whole I, thing? I, 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 said, I, I wasn't, bro, he, I wasn't I here lost, for that. I, I lost the audio and then I'm yeah. like, it sucks for the little one. Shit, right. man, we just But you just keep thing. it moving. But, okay, what we do now, let's do it again. Okay, can we do this Monday? We do Monday, okay? No problem, That is the same thing. We fight. It's not exactly the same thing. It hurts a little bit more. Yeah. But eventually I said, bro, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste a lot of energy, a yeah. lot of Is days, that... a lot of hours on that pain. It hurt. Okay, okay, we gotta change this, this, and that. Okay, let's go. Boom, no problem. Is that something that you guys learned like throughout yeah, yeah. your career? Because like there I feel like there has to be a bunch of pressure. He want to steal Matty Bates' place. Yeah, he wants to steal Matty Bates' place. Going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Matty, Bates will, Matty Bates will be here talking about bets and the guy's talking about feelings, my brother. Oh, let's go, let's go. David Goggins session. Let's David go. Goggins session. Let's go. All right, guys, we'll wrap this up. We'll wrap no, 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 this episode up, bro. Hey, brother. Last question. Last question. Last question. Last question. And we're done go. before we start to cry over here, my brother. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Make that last no. question. So no. we're learning that during the... the yeah, the, no, because, like, obviously there's so many so many things involved and so much pressure. And, like, for instance, I was going to say, I was in... I filmed some of your training camp, and I filmed some of your training camp. And no one... I, not even myself, but I just watch it. No one knows the amount of work that you guys literally put, put in, unless it's your coaches or your family. Like, I sit there and I see... I'm like, I get tired just recording you guys like it's it's insane so uh, when did you guys like adapt that like no be, we we gonna do that regardless right you're gonna work hard regardless i'm gonna put everything into a fight but we knew before that is it might we might win or lose we're gonna do right. everything in our power to right. win but we know and we lost before and when we lost before it was the same a couple of the fights I worked so freaking hard and I lost. And I know that feeling and I know that feeling sucks. But any high level fighter or even athlete, those guys train super hard. You don't even need to be an athlete, but like those guys that do a move, they work so hard and the move <laughs> sucks. But do you think that guy didn't work hard because the movie sucks? No, that guy worked super hard too. He studied, he was nights. Nice. Okay, tomorrow I gotta do this scene. Right. Telenovela, like, I think a lot of people... Telenovela? Work, a lot of people work super hard. I don't think they know what it is. You know it's telenovela? <laughs> I know novelas, like, like yeah, Telemundo. Yeah, same like thing. Like, yeah. so popular, right? So, yeah, Telemundo. Yeah. Like, like, series. Like they, my, they, dad, series. My, dad they was, so my dad was Dominican, brother. He used yeah, to watch that he shit know all because the his dad is Spanish. He's, he's yeah. like the, those series, those Spanish, yeah. Brazilian series. It was series, the worst acting like, on the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, what I'm trying to say is... Every, a lot of people work super hard, but no one sees. But they don't have, like me and we're going to talk about that. They don't have to see. Right. When you're going to a concert, you don't you don't care how many times the guy, the guy, <laughs> like Did training, it, yeah. singing. Yeah. You just want to hear the concert. If it sucks, you're going to say, man, that concert sucks, bro. You're going <laughs> to say it. But people don't care. Like, he's the same. He's on the other side, too. I don't care. I'm going to work super hard. People should like respect that we work hard. Yes or not? Right. No. Whatever they want. Th that's the easy answer. I think the the right answer is, man, being a fighter is easy. If you compare to a nine to five job, you know, mm. you go over there in the morning, you do some training session, you get back to home, you do your stuff. You have a lot of time to do whatever you want, brother. That's the truth. But, but when you you saying that right now. Yeah. But I'm saying when you come in the up, beginning, yeah, that's, yeah. What I, that's what that's no, I was No, the asking. beginning was hard. Of course. Super hard. For how long? Until we make for, it. For a long thing. time. But that's it's, life. That's I life. Know, yeah. This is like the podcasting. I now know. we we're not getting them crazy amount of views. But 
two years from now, three years from now, yeah, well, we're gonna yeah. live off that shit, my brother. That's why you have to like, like comment and to subscribe. Well, that, and that, the that's shit. the reason I was asking. I was just saying because a lot of fighters earlier in their career, you see like, especially in the beginning, like lose, and it's hard for them to bounce back. It's a lot of it's a lot of pressure, and like. Even like I, when you even guys, even if they champion, but right, many many champions, they start to win, 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 right, and like they lose, and then they Cody, done. Cody Garbrandt, for instance, you know what I mean? Like You're telling Cody Garbrandt he's done. <laughs> well, not that he's done. He's just he doesn't hasn't he hasn't looked as good since that performance. No, but what I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I don't think it's easy to do on the highest level, bro. You work so hard. It's because it's normal for you to work hard that you think is easy because you enjoy what you're doing. But remember your last fight, your freaking shoulder out of the place. Oh, I cannot do the pod. Why not? Because they cannot see me like that. You, and you keep training and keep doing, like you doing a recovery still, doing a lot of things and working very hard. It's because you enjoy what you do. No, it's it because you make money too. No, it seems easy. Because right? you enjoy. Imagine you doing that, it, it, you don't get money. It, it, yeah, but that, but, that you. But but you, you put, enjoy what you're doing. You like to fight. Being you like a to professional, talk. do you remember? But you like the, to talk about fighting. You like to train. But a lot of guys, it's very hard. Most know? of the people are lazy, brother. Most of, Most the, I of agree. the people are fucking lazy. I agree. Most of the people they are fat because they eat too much. Most of the people yeah, are dumb because they don't fucking read. I so agree. so if you have this little drive you could, you can make it I yeah agree. i agree yeah but you shoulder messed up you're fighting a quote unquote killer you're traveling all the way to paris you're quote not quote unquote killer well, that's not easy <laughs> well you made him look easy bro i'm you sorry make it, you make it look easy exactly you think that was easy that was yeah. easy bro. I that can't was fucking easy i can't money, money, my brother that preparation i'm not saying the ah. fight itself the whole preparation wasn't easy yeah it, it was not easy but at the and same time the, it's like i say when you, brother, and I will be, and, and this podcast is start to look like a podcast now. See. You see, Matty Betts, fuck you, Matty Betts. <laughs> this you is a real comment. podcast about Which conversation. Which you like it? But, but what, what I'm saying uh, wait, is... Wait, 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 hold on real quick. Before you told me to stop, now, what's it, going on? Seven level... push-ups when you're done. Then <laughs> no, you talk. I'm, ju I'm just joking. But I, I really believe since I start to have like a relationship with God and, and going more to the church and uh, because at one point i was not believing god anymore when i was young atheist young. yeah atheist same here but but since even before my son was born but even before when i started in the fight and i you know i i just put everything in god's hand everything have everything that i want to do i was talking to gibber about that even like decisions in life you have to ask God, what do you think? And then that's easy for you, you know, take the burden off you. And I think that's the, the right way to do it. And that's why I think even if life is hard, you have to to look, you know, that's easy. I'm going to do that. You yeah. know, don't worry too much. You have to have the mindset. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. fucking mindset. That, that's the mindset. Because if you, if you have the yeah. mindset of, of, ah, oh, this is bad. Ah, oh, I have this, I have that. Brother, you're not going to do anything. Yeah. Because life is hard for everybody. Yes. Everybody. I Everybody. think I think a good thing too is I did this like last month is like I try to do it every couple months is self reflect, like yes. what what I what I do bad all the time like for me my biggest thing was like complaining like I'd be driving and someone cut me off and I freak out like yeah, what I'm the complaining. fuck is going on but what, you know Why? what I but you got better on these or yeah still yeah because I realized when other people start complaining I get pissed off and I'm like. Why am I going to get okay. pissed off at someone else? I'm yeah. doing the same exact yeah. thing. You know what I mean? You so, see yourself through other people complaining. Exactly. So it's like every day I just try to wake up and be a better person than I was yesterday and just, no. just keep working towards what I have. I mean, fighting, working, podcasting, everything is about that. Like 100%. Get up, do I'm, your fucking thing. I'm very calm for this and I have it good for you. Everybody, every time when someone come, cut me off or do something, I put the windows down and I go, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. Have a great day, brother. Yeah. And those guys ready to curse me. He ready to and say, I'm so sorry, bro. I know I messed up. Have a great day, brother. I'm so sorry. And, and they the switch. Guy, yeah. Every time yeah. I do the same. I, I, and I, in Morikano, so I drive fast. I don't care. <laughs> I go. And if I messed up and I see the guy's bad, I don't say that. I just like, I let the guy come close. I put the windows down and they, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I messed up. Like, wasn't, I didn't mean to. Right. Can you, can you forgive me? And the guy said, yes. I said, okay, sorry. And then I close the window and I, <laughs> and I leave. And he closed the window and said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
No, it's just all about a different approach. Because at the yeah. end of the day, you don't know what. I had this conversation with one of my friends a couple of weeks ago. It's like you don't right, know what the podcast was doing good. Man, now it's time to. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just don't know what people are going through. At no, the end no. Of the day. So yeah. like, and, and so sometimes your your little edge to that was just positive. There's nice. It changed those guys' perspective. You know, hundred percent. No, if you get mad, it's bad for you too. You know. Yeah. yeah. If you want to fight, that's bad. Yeah. So just and especially yeah, here, everyone is armed already. Everyone wants to fight. <laughs> that's I just point. like bro. That's a valid sure. This guy wants to and, exercise and, the Second and, Amendment. And, and <laughs> even even a couple of veterans. I, I sometimes did that with a couple of old dudes. They so mad. I say, bro, I'm so sorry, sir. Forgive me. And this Thank you like, for your service. And this guy's yeah. like. So sorry, please. And the guy. <laughs> L- little do they know if they were to get out the car and swing at you. But cool. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll leave it up to Moicano. Tell the fans what they need to do. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. We almost getting the 50k. Yeah. And we have promotion yeah. for you guys. We need the hats back. Make sure <laughs> you guys. I brought seven hats. To the show me the money part, asking Matty Bats where the hats because we should post be giving away me and Moy can sign. I don't know what happened to the hats. We gotta ask Matty Bats in the comments. Matty, where is the hat? Let's, Let's go. go.